Hello everyone. So the first uh, book that we'll start with first is Quantum Mechanics. Hope you all have purchased the book. The book that we'll refer for Quantum Mechanics uh, is Modern. So everyone, they are requested to please purchase this book. Now, so first we'll start with the unit one. So in unit one, the first topic is the failure of classical electromagnetic theory. Before we introduce quantum mechanics, we should know the origin of quantum mechanics. Okay, so why the quantum mechanics comes into the picture? It is because of the failure of the classical theory. Now, what is classical physics? We all know the basic difference between classical and quantum physics. The classical physics deals with macroscopic phenomena, while the quantum physics, they deal with microscopic phenomena. Now, what is the meaning of macroscopic and microscopic phenomena? With macroscopic, we mean the particles uh, which are large in size which we can see with our naked eye or with the help of simple instruments like microscope. And what we'll say about the microscopic particles, these are those particles which are very small in size, or you can say it has the size of uh, atom, like near about 10 raised to power minus 10 angstrom. Sorry, 10 raised to power minus 10 meters, that is around one angstrom. Because it's like the size of atom, electron, proton, photon, these all will fall in microscopic particles. And uh, macroscopic particles are the particles which are large in size. So when we talk about classical physics, in classical physics, we deal with macroscopic particles and which we can easily study with the help of classical physics or with the simple Newtonian laws or Newtonian laws of motion. However, there there are some experiments or some phenomena like emission of line spectrum by hydrogen, discovery of X-rays, radioactivity, photoelectric effect, etc. These are basically the quantum phenomena. These phenomena could not be explained using the simple laws of classical mechanics, or you can say using the simple Newton laws of motion. So here comes the failure of classical mechanics. Because of this failure of classical mechanics, a new branch of physics appears, which is quantum mechanics or quantum physics. Now, in quantum mechanics, we deal with macroscopic particles, but these photoelectric effect, X-rays, line spectrum of hydrogen, all these phenomena, they have microscopic particles. So they cannot be explained using Newton laws. For this, we need a new branch of physics. Now that branch of physics is quantum mechanics. So we'll study one by one how photoelectric effect is dealt to using quantum mechanics, how quantum effect is beautifully explained using quantum mechanics, how both the experimental and theoretical aspects match for both photoelectric and Compton effect. Before starting with photoelectric effect, we will first see the failure of classical mechanics, the failure of classical mechanics in observing the different experimental results. Now, first one is the stability of atom. Now, this is important from your examination point of view. Like you can get this question in an exam like what are the results or what are the phenomena which could not be explained using classical mechanics or what is why quantum what is the origin of quantum mechanics what is the need of quantum mechanics so you can write because of the failure of classical mechanics we need quantum mechanics to study the microscopic particles now first is the stability of atom we all know about atom that we have a nucleus and we have electrons revolving around the nucleus and this revolution of electron around the nucleus is stable atom is stable but when we'll try to explain the atom stability or the motion of electrons around the nucleus within the atom using classical mechanics we will say that electron is continuously revolving around the nucleus so it is continuously losing the energy so the energy that it is losing it is radiating in the form of electromagnetic radiations so 
after some time the electron should lose all of its energy and should fall inside the nucleus but this is not so we all know that an electron is the motion of electron around the nucleus is stable it doesn't fall inside the nucleus so the stability of atom was not explained using the simple classical mechanics laws similarly line spectrum of hydrogen atom was also not ex explained using classical physics for this we need quantum mechanics third is the black body radiation you have studied this in your second year in statistical physics like what is a black body a black body is a body which absorbs all of the radiations incident on it independent of their wavelength so that is a black body if we have a simple body and if you are radiating or if you are radiating light on it then it will absorb all of the radiations irrespective of the wavelengths now if we heat it now if we heat this body it will emit radiations of all of the wavelengths and these radiations which are emitted by the block black body when it is heated up these radiations are known as black body radiations in this figure 1.101 what you see is the black body spectrum this black body spectrum is basically the curve between the distribution of energy amongst different wavelengths at a given high temperature with respect to the wavelength now this black body spectrum is at a particular temperature when we heat up a body at a particular temperature now different energies are emitted irrespective of the wavelength when the wavelength is increasing first the energy spectrum in the energy spectrum energy is increasing then it becomes maximum at a particular wavelength and then it again decreases with increase in wavelength so this black body spectrum this is the experimental figure this black body spectrum could not be explained using the classical laws we have two classical laws rayleigh jeans law and jeans law if we try to explain this spectrum using rayleigh jeans law then we will see that this law is applicable only at the higher wavelength region or you can say lower frequency region we cannot explain this spectrum for the lower wavelength using rayleigh jeans law similarly we cannot explain the black body spectrum using jeans law for the higher wavelengths it matches with the experimental results only in low wavelength region of the spectrum so the energy distribution in a black body spectrum could not be explained by a single relation derived on the basis of classical theory if we use wien's law we can explain it for the lower wavelengths if we use rayleigh jeans law we can explain it over the higher wavelength region what about the intermediate wavelengths so that is explained using the quantum mechanics that you have already studied in your statistical physics now fourth 